We welcome in our friend Matt Schneidman from The Athletic now. We just heard from Aaron Rodgers on Thursday night, kind of playing both sides of the card there. And today the report from Ian Rappaport comes out basically saying the Packers want Rodgers back. They're willing to make him the highest paid quarterback in the NFL, even if it means going into salary cap purgatory in the future. What, what do you make of that? I think, you know, we already kind of got a sense that's where the Packers were headed. Matt LaFleur has said, obviously, we want him back. The organization's going to do whatever they can to get him back. You know, Matt LaFleur said it wasn't only him. It was Brian Gutekunst, Mark Murphy, Russ Ball that all want Rodgers back. So, listen, I don't know what this says about Jordan Love. Maybe we can get into that later. But they know Aaron Rodgers gives them the best chance to win now. And there are ways they can navigate this salary cap conundrum that they're in and still get Rodgers, still get Adams, still get Devondre Campbell back and maintain a contender. What that means for their financial situation a couple years down the road, that's a later problem. Ask the Saints about that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right now, they are in a lot of salary cap trouble. So basically, the ball is in Rodgers' court right now. And it almost seems like... A trade probably isn't happening is, is what I'm gathering from this. It's either Rodgers is going to come back, play in Green Bay, Rodgers is going to retire, one of those two. It was interesting. Listening to Rodgers talk after he won the MVP on Thursday night, he was talking about what he still needs to weigh in order to come to a decision. And he said something about decide what place is best for him. And then he quickly corrected himself and said, no, 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 not place. I don't want to read too much into that. But that almost tells me it's retirement or Green Bay. And listen, we know he has plenty left. He said he doesn't want to go out like a lame duck playing poorly. That's not a concern. But it is interesting that he said he doesn't fear retirement. He got to kind of experience what that would be like last offseason. Uh, so he doesn't fear it if that's the decision he comes to. So if I had to put my thumb on it, I would say it's down to him coming back here or retiring. I don't think there's any doubt that right here is his best chance at winning. I don't know if you want to go to Denver and play against right. Patrick Mahomes and Justin Herbert uh, twice every season. What about aside from Aaron Rodgers, what is the next most important thing for the Packers as we enter the offseason? Devontae Adams. Yeah. I, best, I figured that's best, where we were going. Best wide receiver in football. If they franchise tag him, I anticipate Devontae will still show up. Because last offseason, when he was asked if he would show up to training camp without a new extension, he said, I'm never going to forfeit money yeah. that I've already earned. And, and that $20.12 million of the franchise tag is fully guaranteed. He doesn't want to cost himself any of that or game checks by not showing up, any of that stuff. So he'll show up. What's interesting is what will the tenor of his appearance be if Aaron Rodgers isn't here? Right. You know, will they try and tag and trade him if Aaron Rodgers isn't here and say, you know what, let's start from scratch. Let's get whatever we can in return for Devontae. Or will they refuse to trade him like they did Rodgers last offseason? It's never dull in Green Bay, and it promises not to be dull again over the next couple weeks. And you can start franchise tagging players, what, February 22nd? February 22nd to March 8th. So that's coming up uh, pretty quickly. Yes. Things are going to move fast. Now, as we enter the offseason, we've got the Super Bowl in the rearview mirror now. Looking back at this Packers season, it was called the last dance. It was called an all-in season. And they had a great regular season, came up short again. How would you grade the 2021 season? It's a failure. I mean, anything for this team short of a Super Bowl, championship, Super Bowl appearance, they didn't get either, is a failure. They were the number one seed. This was arguably their best chance to get back there uh, for the first time since they went about 11 years ago, it is now. You can argue that 15-1 and one season the next year, but they had everything. They had the guys coming back. They had Rodgers playing really well. The defense played great. The special teams and Aaron Rodgers didn't play well, and they failed to get them back to a Super Bowl. So I would use the word failure. I keep going back to that A.J. Dillon fumble on their second possession of the game against the Niners when they seem to have all the momentum, and then here are a Mercedes Lewis fumble, pardon me, and then uh, – and then it just all went away. Wonder how different that game might have been. I know. He held on to the I game. agree. Yeah. All right, Matt Schneidman of The Athletic. Always great to talk to you. Follow him on Twitter, at Matt Schneidman. Read his work at The Athletic. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it.